Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to review using props with stateless functional components. Except for the last challenge, you've been passing props to stateless functional components. These components act like pure functions. They accept props as input and return the same view every time they are passed uh, they, they are passed the same props. You may be wondering what state is, and the next challenge will cover it in more detail. Before that, here's a review of the terminology for components. A stateless functional component is any function you want you write which accepts props and returns JSX. A stateless component, on the other hand, is a class that extends react.component, but does not use internal state covered in the next section. Finally, a stateful component is a class component that does maintain its own internal state. You may see stateful components referred to as simply uh, referred to simply as components or React components. A common pattern is to try to minimize statefulness and to create stateless functional components whenever, wherever possible. This helps contain your state management to a specific area of your application. In turn, this improves de development and maintenance of your app by making it easier to follow how changes to state affect its behavior. The code editor has a camp site component that renders a camper component as a default. So we have a camp site component which renders camper as a default. So we want to define the camper component and assign its default props of name camper bot. Okay, so first off, let's just define camper. Uh, so we're going to say class is camper, which extends react.component. And then within here, we're going to, yeah, let's run the test, see if anything passes. Nothing passes, okay. So we're probably, well, we're not getting an error, it's just nothing's working. The camper site should render, sh component should render. So right now we're not rendering because of probably an error here. Um, yeah, the camper component should render. So here we should be able to say render, and then we're going to return and within the return, we'll just go div, close div for now, just to see if we're on the right path. Um, run the test. Okay, now we're rendering. That's good. We've got these two tests passing. The camper component should include default props, which assign the string camper bot to the key name. Okay, cool. So um, we want to say, uh, I think it's like this, camper dot d fault props and we're going to set this equal to an object where we're going to set I think name is is equal to camper bot uh sign string camper bot okay cool so we've got the default prop set to camper bot here uh, the camper component should include prop types which require the name prop to be string. Okay, so again, we're going to say camper dot should include, uh, I think, prop types is equal to, should, and so we want the name um, prop types. Dot, and it's required, we require a string, and then we want to say is required. Prop types is not required. Prop type, maybe? Prop type is not defined. Oh, prop type is required. String is required. Prop type. prop types. Camper component should contain, contain a P element with only the text from the name prop. Oh, okay, yeah, we're not rendering it. The most, the most obvious thing. And then the only thing that we want to put in here is it contain a P element with only the text from the name prop. Uh, this dot name. Dot 
props. There we go. Okay. Cool. So um, we're we're setting default. We're, first off, we're we're defining um, camper, and we're making it so camper has the capacity to render. When it renders, it returns this following div, and within this div, we have a p element where it returns this dot prop dot name, which is whatever name is being passed in. Um, if they had said uh, define camper and they said uh, name is equal to uh, up, then we would be able to customize it in the overall component. But because we've set a default uh, component of camper bot, then we do that. So we set the default, we said camper dot default props and the default prop for name is equal to camper bot. And then the camper dot prop types here, we're just saying, um, when you find name, make ensure that we're getting passed in a string. If we came up here and said name uh, is equal to, and we said in an array, we said up, um, we should get a, <laughs> we should have some, an error saying that this is returning an array and therefore it's not uh, valid. But that doesn't seem to be actually working. Um, hello. The string should be correct, but uh, I'm not really sure why. This should be some return some sort of an error, but it's not. Um, but anyways, I'm just kind of walking through you guys to try to show you how this is uh, supposed to work. Uh, but this is how you re re return the test. If you're having problems with this, check to make sure you've got a capital P and a capital T here. Make sure you're doing prop types, plural, but prop types, plural. Um, this is the global variable is different than the, um, <clears throat> the uh, sub method of the camper, uh, which we've defined up here. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.